Okay, let's just go for it. And then we clear the decks, this goes away, and then we bring out the next lot. Or over here. Right, it is now ten past one, which I think is good going. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. You filming? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> A good start. She's done it again. <laughs> now it's slightly different today because we're both on this side of the table. Hello. Last time we swapped roles and my camera work was rubbish. Well, let's see. Left, <laughs> left a lot to be desired. <laughs> so, believe it or not, there's nobody working the camera today except Alice with her little remote control. And we have never done this before, so. This might well be an outtake before we're finished. <laughs> now, we've, we've not done any filming for a long time. We've and been very been, busy. There's been various reasons for that. Very busy. One was we were really, really busy with rehearsals for a big praise gathering concert, followed by making wedding invitations uh, for Alice's son. Yes, we should have brought one with us. Oh, I have one, but I don't have it to hand. We can get it later. But we'll put it in another video. Yes. How about that? Okay. We're busy making invitations. And then there was the wedding. And then we thought, well, maybe we should do some crafting. So, Jean, did you enjoy the wedding? It was good, wasn't it? And I told you I would say hello to you the next time we were making a movie. So, you're a very nice lady and you were very civil, so you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a friend of yours. And she could be a friend of mine if she played her cards right. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and Matt, who has showed great interest in the Easy Scoreboard. This is for you, Matt. Uh, we were very interested in your conversation about the CD, was it? Yes, CD-ROM. The CD-ROM. And uh, it would be interesting to hear more about that. And if we could have access to that, we can certainly see what we can do to help you out. And uh, Phyllis. You'll be pleased we're using Easy Score again. We're not doing the the what was it called? The pull slider up and, surprise. Ah, the pulley up and down one. Ah, but it works now. It works. Alice has sussed it. She's going to demonstrate it shortly. <laughs> <laughs> but, but thanks, Phyllis. It was great. So today I'm going to show you some just quick things. I wouldn't necessarily say they were quick and easy. But if you take your time with them, they're not, they're not difficult, they're just, they're just a bit time consuming sometimes. I don't know whether you have access to these. And with a bit of clever manoeuvring on the hand control, it will be zoomed in. It's oh, been in going. It's been in. Say you it again. Looking. You weren't looking. I was looking. No, you weren't. Okay. Watch your head. Watch, Watch this closely. Ah, you see. Now there's a range of these, just going to test you and do this again, because there's another one as well. Ah, okay, she's just testing me now. Hold it higher. That's better. You told them the website, yeah. yeah. I'm coming to that bit. <laughs> She'll push you with this. I'm not doing every boss, you know, like it's zoomed out. Oh, you <laughs> pot call the kettle black. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the, the flipping range. And... There is a website, www.lapache.com. So that is spelled L-A-P-A-S-H-E. Lap, a, she. Maybe pronounced Lapache. No, Lapache, surely. But whatever. That's how you spell it. And that is a different kind of decoupage. Because if you look at it closely, I'm going to try and do this properly for you. If you look at it closely, what you're seeing is the front of the decoupage, but this is the back part of the decoupage. So you need to have an aperture card and take the back of the aperture out as well so you can see the front and the back. Now I came across this aperture card, which is a, a, a standard aperture card that opens like that. Uh, and I did think I would try putting something in the middle. A is slightly small, and the awkward thing is, is you actually have to then try and cut out an oval, and it's really got to be quite exact, and I'm not Don Bibby, 
So I can do it precisely. Don't believe you am not. Don't believe I am not. So the other thing I thought was, well, I'll buy the cards that go with it. And the cards that go with the flipping range are, size. they're very, very, very big cards. And you have to do an awful lot of extra tweaking with it. So being a good Scot and thinking that, well, if you're going to have to cut away half the back of this, we might as well do it another way. Here's another way of doing it. By getting your own aperture card. Now you might see that. You hold it up to your shoulder. Like that. There you go. Like that. Show them the back. And then you open it up. And you've got the inside of it. This is quite good because I can actually see whether I'm getting in the camera or not. With the card. So, what you do to get this is, you take the scoreboard, if you have one. If you don't have a scoreboard, you're talking 2.5 centimetres in, or one inch. Mary NSC, you're one inch, I better call you centimetres because you've got your centimetre rule. 2.5 centimetres for you, honey bunch. So, you take, first of all, if I can find it. buried under flipping woman. This is going to be the back of the card, and all you really have to do is score it, turn it, put that out of the rear, I don't behave myself, score it, and turn it. Now, I happen to have a ball tool which works with some of the other boards. And what I did was, as a hint or a help, is to go over it in the ball tool because it gives you a much, much clearer line for cutting on and you can be that bit more accurate. So this is going to be the back of the card. I'm not going to cut it out because that is a time consuming bit. That's quite straightforward. Um, the time consuming bit is actually cutting this part out. You might cut it with scissors. I don't know if you can see that, can you? Can you see the grooves on it? There we are. Right, okay. So, to cut that bit out, that gives you the back of your aperture. And for the front of your card, this is where it's slightly trickier, because you want to do the same thing on the, on the front of your card, by having the same one inch border round the outside. You can do it on the board, but you have to sort of do it in reverse. It does make it a bit trickier. And then you score down that one. And that one. And it wants to run off sometimes. You've got one ready done, haven't you? Yeah. And this is because I haven't scored it with the, the wee one first. That's what makes it tricky. And you've got to just figure out what way you want to have your board and turn your board down to get it get it right. And then get it into that one. And again you're going over with a ball tool because it does give the, the groove. And you would then cut that part away. That leaves you with that part cut out that part cut out and that then gives you that. 